Hi all, so I've had a request, someone wants to know how to do uh, an applique. It's quite easy on PE Design because there is a wizard, you just have to know where it is. So I'm going to make this so it's a full design like this. Uh, and then you need to select it, and you have to go to Sew, and Applique Wizard hides up there. So now you can choose these options, if you've done Applique before they'll mean something to you, if you haven't then they're going to mean not a lot at the moment. So this is applique material, so if it's going to give you like a tack down stitch, your position, what then you want your tack down to be once the material is on there, and then your covering stitch. So I'm going to leave it so there will be a placement stitch uh, to place it down, then the applique position I use to hold the fabric down before you do the tack down stitch. Uh, and I'm just going to leave it as a V stitch, that's fine. The satin stitch you can play with, and this again is a little bit trial and error, personal preference. I quite like a nice wide satin stitch, so it really covers the edge of that fabric. Um, so I'll go for about 4.5, and then the density I'm going to put at 5, because I like a nice dense one. So I'll press OK, and then it converts it. So once you go up here, you can see what stages you're going to get. So it doesn't matter what colours these are, because obviously you're going to load them into the machine yourself. But if you want to change them, you can click on your thread chart and change them. Um, you can also then add text to it if you'd like if you want to make it into a badge for example so you can put your text in there and you can play around with that or if you want to then put a design on the top of this so it's more like a patch you can press F8 and then you can prick from your files so this has automatically gone into my embroidery art folder uh, you might have to find this by going library, documents or external hard drive wherever you have it and then going to your folder so you can pick any of these designs that you want I'll try and find something that's not too much uh, because you don't want it to be too busy. Something that's, you know, nice, easy. So I'm going to say nice, easy, and then I'm obviously going to pick something that's difficult because I've just seen it and it's cute. So this is the Drink Me. It's an Urban Threads design, uh, obviously inspired by Alice in Wonderland, I would guess. So you can rotate it, and I'm going to hold down Control to size it so that it keeps the stitches nice and even. And so you can just plonk that in the middle there. And because you've put it on after your applique, it's going to sew after that. So it will do your circle first on the machine, and then your drink me. So this is how you can do a, a patch, if you like, or a different one. So you can draw, you can use all of these shapes, all of these turn into an applique, or you can draw your own, which is a little bit harder. Uh, I hope that answers your question, and enjoy your applique.